Hey YouTube, so I'm going to show you guys how to change the back brakes. I'm probably not going to do the front brakes because I need to get out on my ride here pretty soon. So I'm using a pair of side cutters here to, to kind of bend this if I can get it. I guess I'm going to have to use real pliers. One moment. It's a uh, really short. Allen, I mean a uh, Carter key, so that's why I'm having problems with it off. We'll try these needle nose. I mean it isn't. It isn't really you should use a little longer one than that. Now you could reuse this, but I wouldn't if you can if your brakes come with a, a new one. Now all you have to do is push this, push them out, and you've got a spring there, and then the two pads. And if you can see, the pads are just now starting to disintegrate a little bit. They're uh, glazed over and they're not, I mean, even though there's quite a bit of life left, there's, I could sand those off and maybe get them to work for a little bit longer, but uh, it's not really worth it. So you cannot touch your brake levers at all when you're doing this until you're ready to set the pad distance but uh, you can clean your stuff off and make sure you're set there you don't have to grab the brake pads what am i do with those probably oh there they are i could not buy the shimano ones at the bike shop Unbelievably, they didn't have it. Said it would take about a couple of days to order them in, and I just said, okay, never mind, I'll just buy off Amazon. So, these brake pads already come. These are uh, a no name Chinese brand. I know you can't see it, but here it was. Oh. <laughs> the whole the whole thing uh, popped loose and the, the reason I wanted to show you how they came was because they already came with a uh, a device holding them so you could just stick them in and put the carter pin through so uh, but they go to they go together like this. This goes down the side of the pad like this. And a piece of dirt there. And this one goes down the side of the pad like that. And these spread and this spreads the uh uh the brakes apart. And then you just shove them up into their slot. Come on, get in there. Oh, I think I got them cockeyed in there. Yeah, this one, this one came out of its its spot. It had you have to have them set like this so 
the spring goes on the inside of the pad like this so you squeeze them together and you should be able to fit them up in there as long as you don't twist your thumbs like I do and so these eyes have to match up of course with where your your uh, Allen key is going to go through and if the Allen key goes through them then they're lined up properly and then you just take your your uh, pliers, side cutters, whatever, and you, oh, let's twist this a little bit so that we can bend it up this way. Actually, it's easier to do with side cutters as long as you don't put too much pressure on it and cut the Allen key. You have to get at it. It's so much easier to do sometimes with, uh, uh, and that's all you have to bend up one side. And then your, uh, your brakes are in there. Uh, I don't think I need to adjust them because it, they're probably set wide enough apart, but uh, you, these did send a tool with this but we'll go ahead and show it to you anyway. It's a piece of, uh, it's for setting your caliber distance. Now what they want you to do is uh, put this over the top of your caliper and slide your, your uh, wheel in there. But I don't think I need to. It's, It's fine, but this is, you slide this over your caliper, slide your wheel back in, and then you can squeeze your, uh, uh, it'll squeeze the brake pads out and set your distance right. So, uh, I'm not gonna use it, because I've got, actually, I'm going to change the, uh, the tires on the bike today. Uh, you guys wanna see what we got, let's put you out here and I'll put one of the tires and zoom you out. So we went with this tire here. Uh, it's a foldable and I've had them laying out trying to get them warmed up so I could put them on. I'm not going to show you how to change the tire. That's pretty simple. They're directional. They have arrows on it to say uh, what direction they can go. Uh, these use a little less pressure than the old ones did, but they're also wider. Uh, they're uh, half an inch wider than the old ones. So that being said, I'm going to sign off and uh, let you guys get on to whatever you're going to do for the day and uh, have a great day.